Hundreds of never-before-seen documents providing new insight into the 1 October shooter. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. The nation's deadliest mass shooting taking the lives of 60 people. And why the shooter did it, a mystery. A News Now investigator David Charns going through those documents from the FBI. And David, what did they say? Well, the, these 600 or so pages of documents we went through are essentially FBI agent interviews. They look like this. You see it says FBI there on the top, unclassified. What these documents don't do are spell out why this mass murder occurred, and that is a question so many of us want answered. The heavily redacted documents paint a glimpse of the man responsible for killing 60 people and injuring hundreds more at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival on October 1st, 2017. Paddock was very strange, a person believed to be a neighbor telling the FBI. He never made eye contact and he did not want to shake his neighbor's hand when she first met him. They never had any friendly chats. The person saying Paddock never had the lights on in his house and he always wore gloves. Another person telling the FBI, Paddock was a prolific video player visiting Las Vegas once every three months, losing $38,000 in mid-September that year. One interviewee saying Paddock was an upset high roller, banned from some casinos for, quote, playing well and winning large quantities of money. That person saying, quote, Paddock was very upset at the way casinos were treating him and other high rollers. The stress could easily be what caused Paddock to snap. Another person telling the FBI Paddock was, quote, fascinated with the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing and that quote he thought Hitler was a good man. The documents do not lay out an exact motive, something Metro Police also could not determine in their investigation. Governor Joe Lombardo, then Clark County Sheriff. This report is not going to answer every question or even answer the biggest question as to why he did what he did. The documents are filled with witness interviews, many from people calling the FBI in the days after 1 October with tips. One woman saying Paddock photobomb her while she was taking a selfie at a strip Taco Bell several hours before the shooting. Another person telling the FBI she was staying at the Mandalay Bay for the concert went to the festival grounds, but quote, things didn't feel right and she left. Certainly eerie to hear stories like that. The governor did not have a comment on the release of these documents today. We're live near the strip in Tropicana. I'm David Charnes, 8 News Now. Metro sending us a statement about the document release. It says the department and the FBI were unable to determine a motive for the shooter. It goes on to say, quote, speculating on a motive causes more harm to the hundreds of people who were victims that night. We do not believe these documents will shed new light in the case.